What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Cart Life TV. We got a very special episode for you today because tomorrow morning, 5 a.m., me and that guy back there, we're sending it to Key West. I'm Mike. I'm Joe. And this is Cart Life TV. So we're at the shop today. We're getting ready for our 225 mile trip to Key West tomorrow morning. But before we get into what we're doing today, I just want to remind you guys to stop by lowspeedliving.com. We got a lot of cool shirts. New shirts. Like this awesome Cart Life Skull t-shirt that I'm wearing right now. And these cool hats that Joe and I got on. And a lot of other cool stuff. So make sure you check out lowspeedliving.com. So tomorrow is the big Key West trip. 225 miles. We've been planning this for a long time. I'm excited. A little bit nervous. I'm excited. Seems like it's been forever. Yeah, we've been working on it for a long time, but I think we're ready. Um, I know we have a lot of new subscribers out there since uh, since we started this uh, this channel. So I want to just remind everybody what we're actually doing. Cart Life TV. We are pushing the limits of this Club Car DS. And we're going to go through it with you now and show you what we did to make this thing long distance ready. And I think we thought of everything. I hope so. I hope so too. <laughs> uh, did a lot of test runs. Um, we did 33 miles to Loxahatchee. We did 50 miles round trip to Palm Beach Island and then back. And most recently, 103 miles to South Beach, Miami. And we learned a lot that trip. And I think we got it dialed in. And these are on roads, not dirt roads, not back roads. These are actually roads. We are with traveling other cars. with cars. We are traveling with cars. And uh, tomorrow, 225 miles to Key West. We're going to be the southernmost golf cart. But let's check out the ride and uh, show you what we're working with. All right, let's do it. All right, guys, so this is the 2007 Club Car DS. This has the Kawasaki FE290, 9.5 horsepower motor in it. It's the original motor for this golf cart. It's uh, 16 years old this year and it's been through a lot. Um, we're super proud of it, super proud of what we built here, and we're just gonna go through it with you right now and show you how we're riding down to Key West and how we um, got this golf cart ready to go on such a long distance trip. Let's check it out. So the first thing we got here is the custom trailer we made. This is the Mad Jax cooler carrier here. Totally decked out for everything we need to get us down to Key West. Um, we've got our Yeti cooler here. We got our uh, license plate bracket we moved down. We got our lighted whip. We got some turn signal and brake lights we added here. And of course we have our gas cans, gallon and a half each. So we got about three gallons of extra fuel we'll be taking with us. We got it all in this cooler here. And we actually wired it in uh, with the trailer harness on the back of the golf cart here so we can plug it and unplug it. Let me show you the lights real quick. These are our, uh, our basic uh, our basic tail lights, uh, license plate light. We have our um, our lighted whip antenna, and most recently we got our safety strobe light, super bright. And then of course we got the blinkers. Got the brake lights back here. So that pretty much sums up the uh, the cooler carrier we got there. Really excited to uh, put it to the test on the way to Key West. All right, back here on the uh, on the flip seat we have our uh, our cargo caddy, which is really cool. Uh, cargo caddy actually was kind enough and sent this to us for free, um, so we could use it on our long distance trip. This thing is great. It um, it attaches to the. The flip seat, you can use this on any golf cart. We're using it so we could take our uh, our storage boxes down with us. Um, we got our four storage boxes here. One of them is a tool kit with some emergency stuff in it, like fix a flat, a plug kit, and some tools. We have a parts kit with an extra fuel pump, some belts, just some, uh, some of the basic things that you might need if the golf cart breaks down. Uh, we got all that in here. Uh, we have uh, some camera equipment and some electronics in this case here. 
And then this one here, um, we're gonna be bringing a little bit of extra clothes with us in case uh, we run into a rainstorm or something. I don't want to be sitting on this golf cart with this guy uh, for eight hours soaking wet. It would be very, very uncomfortable. Uh, of course, we have a um, fire extinguisher. Got our, our tripod for the camera in case we want to stop and film somewhere. And we got some other emergency gear like toe straps and winch controller. We keep all that stuff back here in the, uh, in the cargo caddy in case we need it. All of these boxes are waterproof, of course, in case it rains, we don't want any of our gear to get wet. But I think we've got everything we need um, for the trip. If you want to see what we actually have in these boxes, you can check some of the videos. Um, the video section, we went through our safety kit and all of our tools and everything, uh, so everybody has a great idea of what we're doing. And if you want to see the trailer build, that video is back there also. Let's check out the front of the golf cart. All right, so this is the front of the golf cart. We tried to make this as, like, as literally as strong and safe as possible. So we actually uh, custom built a bumper and a brush guard combo here. This is the, uh, the Jake's winch bumper and the Jake's brush guard. Uh, we did a pretty cool two-part video where we cut them apart and welded them together uh, to kind of get this really cool uh, custom look. But also, also it's gonna be super safe. Like, we wanna be safe we uh, accidentally get into something. This will hopefully uh, protect the cart a little bit. Uh, we have a winch on there. We've gotten stuck in sand before. Uh, we never know if we're gonna have to pull off on the side of the road for whatever, but we definitely don't wanna get stuck. Also good if we have to get on a trailer or a flatbed, we'll be able to winch it right up and not have to worry about pushing the golf cart. Down here, the Jake's, uh, Jake's lift kit comes with a uh, two inch receiver. So we do have a tow hook here in case we got a tow the golf cart. We're hoping we don't ever have to do that, but we want to be prepared for everything. Um, we did upgrade our long travel system with um, some Predator shocks. It gave this golf cart a completely different ride. It's extremely smooth and soft now. Um, and of course, we did the, uh, the Jake's disc brake kit. These things kick ass. Looking forward to uh, having them, glad that we do. Um, they work off of a small master cylinder. That, uh, that works with the normal brake system. Um, golf cart has headlights, of course, and all the other things that are required uh, for, for road use. Um, we installed a light bar, rear view mirror. We have the, the uh, mirrors that have the blinkers on them. Again, for safety. Um, of course, we have our yellow light bar. Everybody's seen. I hope you're all uh, uh -huh. really able to see after that. I, um, I can't. And of course we have our camera mounts and all, all of our other electronics. All right, so the inside of the golf cart is really cool also. Um, we have our uh, fuel gauge, our speedometer, the switches for our lights like the whip, uh, underbody lights, strobe light. We got our music controller here for our uh, Memphis soundbar, which is located behind me. Um, backup switches for the headlights in case this one fails. Our light bar switch. We've got our dashboard drink holders. This is the, uh, the sensor for the speedometer. And we got our awesome Roycross cell phone holders. Uh, this one actually has wireless charging, so we'll be able to keep the phone charged uh, while we're running the camera or anything else. Uh, Joe's got his over here for navigating, um, or when I'm in the co-pilot seat navigating, that's where we're gonna keep our maps. We've got a steering wheel, a uh, light switch, and we got the Jake's, uh, the Jake's shifter here. All right, underneath, underneath the seat, we got, um, we got our new vented uh, fuel tank here. We added a second vent to get the fumes out. We had some issues with the, uh, the venting of the fuel system. Hopefully that's resolved now. Over here, we installed the yellow top Optima battery with some awesome terminals to keep the wiring all uh, nice and neat. And also give us a little bit more accessory power and cranking power. Uh, the cart actually runs a lot better with this battery than it did with the old diehard battery we had. Um, other than that, this motor is completely stock. It's been uh, it's been you know maintained and uh, maintenance along the, along the way, new carburetors and fuel. Um, we do the oil changes, etc. And we are running in our fuel system there something that you can't go without. This is called uh, Startron enzyme treatment for the fuel system. We got some. Uh, we got some guys up north worried about us, and they wanted to make sure we had this. Uh, we had this in the fuel system. Joe added it a little while ago, um, so I think we're ready. You think we're ready? I think we're ready. 
and that's about this it, guys. So we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be hitting the road tomorrow, about uh, between five and six a.m. and um, we're just gonna bomb it, 225 miles to Key West. That's it. So that's the uh, that's the Club Car DS. That's the cart leg, long distance Club Car DS. That's gonna take me and this guy back here, 225 miles tomorrow to Key West. And if you guys want to follow along with us. Check out our Facebook page, Cart Life FL. We're gonna be going live once in a while. Joe figured out how to do it. We are not tech guys at all. We're like action guys. But we figured out the technology. We're gonna be going live here and there on our trip. So if you wanna follow along, go ahead and join us. It's gonna be great. And yeah, we're gonna try to check in as much as we can throughout the day with Facebook. So. Absolutely, so follow along with us. Definitely, <laughs> we'll be posting. If you like these videos, subscribe to Cart Life TV. Don't miss our Key West trip. It's happening tomorrow, so thank you guys for uh, for subscribing and following along. If you want to support us, lowspeedliving.com. Check the link right here. And that's it. We'll check in with you tomorrow. Papa's Pilar, here we come. We're coming for you. Let's do it. <laughs> we'll see you in Key West.